What is the game plan going in against him? The game plan is you go in there, hit him with some good shit, don't get hit, and uh, come home with a pocket full of cash. The black flames will burst into life, right on point. Those black flames cannot be extinguished until they have burned their target to ash. You're too late! <laughs> You shall die. Epically on, epically on. How can this be? You should have subscribed and liked the video for a 20% luck boost. Can't make it, the shit sucks! Out of my way, son! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh my god! KO in the Why are you running? Why are you running? The sweetest scream, my lambkin. What's up, bro? My bro? What's up, bro? Take a swing, bro. Right here, bro. Welcome to hell.
Cross the line. And what fucking line am I supposed to have crossed? How many arms, right? How many sons, yeah? Have you cut, killed, murdered, fucking butchered, innocent and guilty to send them straight to fucking hell, ain't ya? Just like me! Fucking stand there. You, judging me. Fuck you. This ends right here. Show me what you got. I don't know about you, but I'd call this mission a complete bust. Just another day for the Survey Corps! <laughs> Hello there, everyone. So, here is a little uh, build showcase. Yeah, those are the talismans that I go with. You know, Fire Scorpion Charm, extra fire damage, Flock Canvas Talisman, increases damage of our spells, plus 5 Fate with our Two Fingers Heirloom. That's what I like to roll, because on this build, uh, it's mostly fate-based. Uh, because I have my Halberd, which has B scaling in fate, so I try to go for more fate. And then I have the Radagon icon for the faster cast time. You can mix up a lot of different options, I would say, on this build. It's just up for you to decide. You can go for the Godfrey icon, or maybe Alexander's Shard, for that extra damage on the weapon art. Yeah, a lot of stuff. And here are the stats. Uh, I'm level 120 on this build. Yeah, 40 Vigor, that's my classic. I level up my Endurance and Mind around 25. Yeah, you see how it is. Uh, I don't level Strength or Dexterity because on this build I play mostly the Halberd, which is B-Scaling and Fate, so 
Uh, I went fade with 45 and it's plus five with a two fingers heirloom. Uh, yeah, those are like the main stats that I would go for. And I'm using all the four black flame spells that are in the game. I mean, you can also use the black flame protection just to boost your defense. Uh, I didn't really go for that because I just don't care. And then there's also like the black flame buff, but yeah, that's not really what I wanted to use. As for my equipment, I'm using Banish Knight Halberd plus 25, and I have the Ash of War Black Flame Tornado on it. But you can basically use like any other weapon that you can put the Ash of War on, or you can also use the God Slayer Greatsword, which has like the Ash of War when it buffs the weapon with a black flame. So that's also like a good black flame option. And then I have this just a dagger with the Bloodhound step on, so I can just chase down anyone that tries to get away from me. Or I can use it myself to get out of really sticky situations. And then I use the God Slayer Seal plus 25 because it boosts all your God Slayer incantations. Yeah, God Slayer things are basically like black flames, so yeah, that's, that's what you want to go for when you're using like mostly black flames. Uh, then my fashion consists of Malikot's Helm, then Ronin's Armor, Scaled Gauntlets, and Raging Wolf Greaves. I also want to give a shout out to the channel Epic Trail Music UK for letting me use one of his tracks in, in this video. Uh, overall, he makes like a really cool covers for like movie, show, or video game soundtracks and makes them kind of like more in epic and orchestral fashion. And yeah, guys, you should definitely show him some love if you're into some really epic and quality music just like that. Link to his channel will be in the description of the video. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it to this video. Thank you for the overwhelming support and so much positivity from this community. I really appreciate it. Wasn't expecting so much good stuff coming out of it and I really love to see it. So yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you again some other day. Take care.